Hello everyone, it's Sam here, and today I'm going to be doing a big manga haul. These are mangas I got over the summer in 2021. These are manga I got from a flea market I went to. They're all used manga, and this seller sold them for me for $20, this whole lot full. So it's a lot of books to go through. Some of it's manga, some of it's um, Korean comics like manga, and some of it is uh, Japanese inspired comics kind of thing. Most of them are printed by Tokyo Pop, so it's in that weird mix. So let's go through the books and see what I got. I'm not going to be reading the back of the books today, I'm just going to be showing you what I got. I'll put all the books in the description box down below so you guys can check them out for yourselves. So, uh, let's get started. So, I am going to start with the more paranormal, horror, spooky, supernatural stuff first. So, the first book we got is Chibi Vampire Volume 1. I already own this, but it was already in the lot with it. This is a lot better quality copy of mine, but the weird thing is the cover's printed on backwards. So yeah, it's like a misprint copy. But the inside is the same direction as right to left. So I'm keeping this just in case my old copy breaks so or falls apart. So yeah. I love Chibi Vampire. So cute. Then next we have Mark of the Succubus. I already read this one out of the whole stack, and I absolutely love it. This one's a really good book. Really spooky. The next we have is The Dreaming, Volume 1. Then one's book one also. I hadn't read this one yet. I am very interested in it, though. Next three books we got is Shutterbox, Volume 1. Volume 2. She's very cute on the cover. Oh my god. And Volume 3. Really cool. Very interested in that one. Then we have Under the Glass Moon, Volume 1 and 2. I read book one. It's really interesting. It's funny and it's about like wizards and witches, so it's really interesting. And here is volume two cover. This is a Korean one, by the way. So I'll list in the description box which ones are Korean and which ones are Japanese and also I might put them in by genre. It all depends on how editing goes. So Okay, the next couple Spooky type books. So we got um Kamiya Dori volume 1 which is a science fiction horror I Hadn't tried this one out yet, but it looks really interesting really scary Right, look at these scissors. They're huge. Then we have volume one of Vizard. Vizard? I'm not sure if I'm saying this right, but um, this one is about mummies. I know that because I read the description on the inside. It has it on the inside on this one. So this looks interesting. I never read a manga about mummies before, so can't wait to check it out. Then the next one we have is Black Sun and Silver Moon, Volume 1. This is about um, preachers that fight zombies, basically. <laughs> really interesting. Can't wait to read that. Just try it out. Something weird. Well, not really that weird. I watch too many horror movies, so... And next we have is Kinkashi, Volume 1, which is, he's a, um, a demon hunter type of book, so spiritual yokai demon stuff. Very interesting. 
I do like that kind of stuff, reading about that kind of Japanese supernatural stuff, so this seems fun. Then we're gonna lead to more fantasy type of supernatural stuff. Some of these are more fantasy than others. So we're leading to more fantasy style stuff now. So next book I have is Lagoon Engine Volume 1. I've already read this. I absolutely love this book. It's so cool. This one I'll put more on the supernatural fantasy side though. It's like a family that fights monsters and spirits and stuff. So it's like really cool. The next book I have is, is by the same author as Lagoon Engine. It's The Candidate for Goddess. I have book one through five of this. It is a science fiction story though. So we're, now we're leading to science fiction for just a second. So here's cover, book one. Book two. I can't wait to try this out because I actually like the author's writing, so I hope it's good. Book three. Volume four. And volume five. So that looks very interesting. Now back to more of the fantasy stuff. I just want to put the same authors together. Okay, so the next two books I got is, I'm not even sure how to pronounce this properly, so bear with me here. Kami Yui, I'm guessing, book volume one and two, and this is the action fantasy series, so here is book one. And volume two. So this one seems really interesting. I hadn't checked out all of these books yet because I've been trying to get the rest of the volumes of series I've been collecting in my editor book hauls. So, yeah. So the next book I got is Mar Marchin Awakens Romance. It looks like an epic fantasy here. Very interesting cover. Very Shonen Jump style, let's say, with the cover. Looks fun. The next book I got is Momo Tama, Volume 1. This is a fantasy comedy book. I'm not sure how this one's gonna be. It just the cover just looks interesting to me. It's like really cute and pink. But I know it's a fantasy, so next book I have is um Socorro Refugees, Volume One. This is an American Japanese inspired comic. Because the art style is like really weird. But it's a fantasy comedy. I know what this one's about a little bit. I hadn't read it yet, though. It's like this girl gets transported into this fantasy world and her, like, body changes. It's, like, really weird <laughs> and funny. So, can't wait to try this out. Next book I have is Destiny's Hand, Volume 1, about pirates. Definitely would read this. I love pirate movies. I love things about pirates, especially Pirates of Caribbean, so... Scenes up my alley. Definitely would read that. Next book I got is Hiraku No Go. This is like a fantasy mixed with a um, type of board game. It's the one with the. Um, i trying to think of what it's called here. I know what the game is, but I can't think of what it's called at the moment, but yeah, it's like a sports slash supernatural fantasy manga. I 
I don't know if they talk about what the name's game is called. Not sure if they do. But it's okay, here's a picture. It's this one right here, this game right here, where the chips are white and black. I can't think of what it's called right now. I'm having a brain fart here, sorry. But this looks really interesting, and I know the artist because he did the artwork for Death Note, so yes. Now leading into some another sci-fi book. Sorry, this is all kind of mixed right here. This is all confusing. So I have volume one of figure 17. Which looks really interesting. There's not really a description on the back, so I have to read the description from Goodreads. But I know there's an anime series for this, so. Ooh. Okay, now on to a lot more books. So, it's gonna go some action and comedy, fantasy, then to romance. So, that's how it's gonna be the rest of the books. So, yeah. So, next book I got is Ninja Girls Volume 1. Like how the title is. It's kind of like a romance action, so it seems really interesting. So I want to try that out. Next book I got is called X Kai Volume One. This is a um, like action drama, it's like spies and assassins and stuff like that. So this seems really interesting. Can't wait to read this. The next group of books I have a couple of, which is Gin, Gin, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat got dry. I gotta take a sip of water. Sorry. Okay. Gin Shinken. Hope I'm saying that right. Book. This is. I have book one through four. Oh, this, this is a slice of life book about anime fans basically and anime clothes and stuff so it's really interesting so here's book one book two book three and book four So it seems really interesting, so I can't wait to try this out. Now on to romantic comedy fantasy stuff. So this is kind of a mixture here. So we have Dragon Voice, Volume 1 through 3. It's so like pop singers, it's a romantic comedy. It's like Japanese pop singers, so that's interesting. Here's book one, book two, and book three. Book three's cover is kind of odd for me. Oh my. <laughs> then on to fantasy romance. Woo. So we got. Semi-Maiden or Semi-Maiden? I'm not even sure. Volume 1 and 2. So here is book 1. Very classic style looking artwork. Like very old school. Here's book 2. This looks awesome because give me that, that uh, classic feel in the fantasy. So Next couple books I got is 1 through 5 of... The Queen's Knight. So here is book one. And we got book two. They're kind of curved on the top, but that's kind of okay with me. As long as the pages aren't ripped or anything, you can easily flatten this out over time. I got book three. Book four. And book five. So 
So I can't wait to read this. This is a fantasy romance, so it seems very interesting. Now it's mostly romance from here, I would say. The big mix of books, mix of genres here. So we got Mugen Spiral, Volume 1. This one looks really interesting to me, so I can't wait to read this. It looks really cool. Then we got Volume 1 and 2 of Orsima Teacher. Here's book one and book two. Some of these I am trying because I don't really read a lot of romance per se, so I'm trying some new stuff here. So the next book I got is Wild Ones Volume 1. This one seems pretty cool, so I can't wait to read this. Same like my style. about Yakuza gangs and romance, so very interesting. Sorry, my throat keeps getting dry. Lots of books to name off, so yeah. So the next two books is Tokyo Boys and Girls, Volume 1 and 2. Really cute cover. I really like her shirt. I have book two. And the next two books I got is La Corda de Dior. I hope I'm saying this right. I'm not sure. But it's like a musical type of romance story. So here's the first two books of that. Then we have Crimson Hero Volume 1. This is about uh, volleyball romance sports manga. So this looks really interesting. Not a big sports manga reader either. So that would be new for me. Then we have from the same author, The Devil Doesn't Exist Volume 1 and 2. I heard this is kind of like a clueless type uh, manga. Like based on... Kind of like that movie. So, yeah. I like the movie Clues, so I might like this one. And then I got volume two. Really interesting. Now we have Platinum Garden book one and two. And... Volume 1 and 2. So here's book 2. This one seems really interesting. Then we have Broken Angels, book 1. By the way, this is a girl on the cover. I had to read it back to find that out. But she is like an angelic creature, so it seems really interesting. It's really fantasy, romance style. So I'm going to try reading that. Then we have, about to drop the book here, <laughs> Priceless Book 1, which is a Korean manga here. Really interesting. Then we have Bird Kiss Volume 1, which is another Korean manga. Manga. Yeah. This one is based on Prince and the Frog Story, based on that. But I don't get why it's called Bird Kiss, though. <laughs> Because they're about frogs, so. Weird. Last but not least, the last two books I got is Neck and Neck, Volume 1 and 2, which is a comedy romance. It's also Korean stuff. Here's book 2. So that is all the books I got. I'll list everything in the description box down below. So you guys can actually check them out because me reading the back of all of these and some of these don't have descriptions on the back would take forever. 
and I apologize for those of you who want to know about them. I would say just check it out on Goodreads. They have good descriptions there or the publisher's website some of the times also. So yeah, basically I got all these books for $20 because this person just did not want their manga anymore and I was the only person at the flea market that was interested in a manga that was actually looking at their table and they're like had it up to here they just wanted to get it done and over with and I thought all the titles seemed interesting so I decided to do the deal because it was cheap enough in my price range so and whatever I probably don't after I read it and don't like it, I might give to the my public library or to friends that might like to have them. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for my video. Sorry, it was kind of weird and long, but at the end of the screen here will be my book haul playlist and other book related stuff and manga stuff and my YouTube channel thing somewhere. And this is pretty much it for my video. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe and I'll be making more videos soon. So I'll see you guys later. Have a spooky day. Bye.